Hello, welcome to Sanes Academy. In this video, we are going to see linear optimization option using Microsoft Excel. So what actually you are going to see is that given this problem of optimization, maybe minimization or maybe maximization, you are going to first see how to do spreadsheet modeling and afterwards we are going to solve this that is we are going to obtain the values best values of x1 x2 x3 with the help of solver option in excel so here let us consider the problem of product mix in which we have three types of products executive type office type and student type and the unit profits are 1600, 1300 and 600 respectively. What we are going to find is how much of the optimum number of executive type, office type, student type can be manufactured so that profits can be maximized. Over here as you see that I have formulated this problem. We need to first of all do spreadsheet modeling for this problem before we use the option of solver. So to start with, let us have the three variables specified in our spreadsheet, namely executive, office and student. Now we require to specify the profits accordingly for this. So this is per unit profit as I am specifying here. So it is respectively 1600 for first product, 1300 for second product and 600 for third product or here we need to place the values actually so our solution is going to be in the cells c3 d3 and e3 respectively let's first of all calculate the maximization function it is 16 into x1 13 into x2 and 600 into x3 now the best function in excel for this can be some product which will have this multiplied with this we usually call in mathematics it as dot product you can test it well over here whether you are getting correct value or not you can keep it blank also so here comes our total profit. Now having done this, we need to arrange the data for these three constraints in a separate table. Let's do it. So the first constraint which is there in our problem, basically the first constraint is of cabinet shop, finishing shop and creating shop. In this way, we require to arrange this data, means we are actually going to enter now 2, now for the first constraint it is 2x1 plus 1.5 into x2, 1.5 into x2 and 1, well now this upper limit which is specified over here has to be also in one particular column, let us name this column as available hours well it will be it will be 20 24 and 20 respectively for three constraints and accordingly let us enter the values for these three other constraints and also for the third constraint Having done this now, first of all, we need to have one more column which actually specifies the left hand side of our equations or inequalities I can say. It is 2 into x1. So what is x1 over here? This is x1 cell, this is x2 cell and this is x3 cell. So hence, the way we have calculated some product over here in the same way we are going to calculate some product for these cells so some product 
so 2x1 plus 1.5 into x2 plus x3 is going to be implemented with this sum product so basically sum product is going to complete our left hand side of all of our inequalities which we have specified here accordingly the last one well let us name this column as hours consumed or hours utilized whatever so these are going to be our hours consumed and these are going to be our hours available now we can put some values in this and see for the for any feasible solution so you can you can anyway change the values and you can anyway get the changing other cells like total profit but what we intend to do is that we want the values of executive office and student likewise c3 d3 and e3 in such a way that the total profit will be maximized with the constraints followed how can we do that let us see over here we need to basically enable the button solver in the data ripple for doing that go to file then go to options well over here my version of office is office 2019 if your version is earlier then please search for options first of all once you search for options the excel options dialog box gets open go to add-ins because basically that solver is an add-in so go to add-ins and then in the manage add-ins in the manage add-ins you see please select the excel add-ins click on go button and ensure that ensure that your solver add-in checkbox is is checked now click on ok so that your solver button gets enabled in the data ribbon. So to begin with, I click on solver button. Ensure one thing while you you do anything with solver. Ensure that your total profit cell is ready with the total profit because this is the cell where your total profit is going to be evaluated okay so please ensure that total profit the you have filled in the proper formulae also ensure that in the hours consumed you have filled in the proper formulae so that your values can get calculated correctly now having set all this up over here well what i am going to do is i want to maximize the profit so maximization profit maximization cell is going to be g3 by changing the cells which one by changing these three cells because these three cells are the cells by which we have set all the formulae for x1 x2 x3 isn't it now having done this having done this go to the constraints on to the constraints click on add and this is your LHS this is going to be your LHS and this is going to be your RHS so the formula of hours consumed are going to be there in these cells and this is the constraint uh, upper value ensure the proper equality or inequality of this if in case your problem is filled with inequalities uh, with less than also greater than also then you will have to maintain separate constraints for that having done this i click on ok button as we have less than or equal to inequality then if you want to solve this problem with simplex linear 
programming problem method then opt for simplex lp or you can opt for uh, non-linear over here i am opting for simplex lp and i am clicking on solve now clicking on ok we see that we get the solution hence what solution have we got if we manufacture four pieces of executive type eight pieces of office type and no piece of student type then our profit is going to be the maximum profit with the constraints followed thanks for watching this video if you like this video please click the like button and for updates from me please subscribe to my channel thank you